Internships and attachments at healthcare institutions are being suspended amid the COVID-19 outbreak, prompting universities to turn to simulation exercises as alternatives. Students say they are still able to build up their skills and pick up credits towards graduation. But some of them, well, they're turning to private healthcare providers for some hands-on experience. Deborah Wong with more. It's the last leg of medical school for Gabriel Tan. But instead of making the rounds at a hospital or polyclinic, he had to go back to campus to wrap up his work attachment with simulated exercises under a doctor's watchful eye. That's because clinical postings to all health institutions have been suspended since Singapore raised its alert for COVID-19 to the second highest level last month. We have what we call a simulated patient who actually plays the role of a real patient. These are not real patients. They won't have abnormal signs. I think the value of it really Really is the feedback that the students get. So in this case, they get feedback from the patients uh, as well as from the family physician. And while it's not the real deal, Gabriel says the exercises keep him on his toes. We've been also uh, trained to practice skills like how to prescribe medications, things that doctors do every day in the wards. And uh, doing that in a very controlled setting also allows us to learn better, uh, allows us to get b better feedback from, uh, from our senior doctors who are supporting and mentoring us. It helped me better prepare for what work life is. Most patients. All right, thank yeah. you, doctor. Thank you. thank you. So simulation exercises like what you see here are also happening over at NUS. Now, I understand from graduating students in the nursing school that their credit-based attachments were supposed to start this week, but instead they're replaced by simulations, case studies and joint projects with the junior batch. The goal? To replicate the fundamentals of attachment as much as possible, which is quite simply the application of theoretical skills. But some are turning to the health tech space to gain new experience. SpeedDoc provides house calls and patients contact doctors through an app. There is a tech component where we run from the office, which is where we are right now. Um, so I think that the interns can still come here and have a bird's eye view of what the healthcare uh, activities are and how we help our patients. Specifically during this period, they get to really see this uh, on the ground feeling that's really when they understand the impact of what they're learning and what their actions are going to be. Biological sciences student Austin Chia doesn't need a clinical posting in order to graduate. And as he only needs to handle data, he's not concerned about being exposed to the virus. The life science and healthcare setting is more of a traditional approach. So it would include um, manual recording, manual reporting. Data would optimize certain services or to see if there's any insights that's yet to be analyzed. As for interns who shadow doctors on house visits, they'll be decked out in protective gear.